Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to teach you a really neat packet trick. It's sort of a uh, twisting the aces with a kicker ending that I know you're going to enjoy. Um, it's sort of a different take that I uh, came up with and a different handling, different presentation on an old trick called Cascade by Roy Walton out of the book Complete Walton Volume 3. If you can do an Elmsley count, you can do this trick. And I will show you the original, uh, how the ending went and the different uh, things that I added to it and all that good stuff. Let's get into it. All right, so I will show you what this trick looks like and then I'll show you how it is done. All right, so I want to show you some sleight of hand techniques with these cards here. I just have four cards that are all alike, okay? So watch. If I show you a move like this, if I take one card and turn it face down, I can do a secret move to make it look like all the cards are face down. Look, that really is, it really does look like all the cards are face down. I'll do that one more time. This time I'll turn it face up. I'll do that same secret move to make it look like now all the cards are face up. I'll do that one more time, uh, face down again. I'll turn one face down. Now watch closely, I'll, I'll do a secret move like this to make it look, look like now all the cards are face down. Now, of course that does take misdirection, so watch, if I take one of the cards and I put it in my pocket uh, like this, I, I just put it in my pocket. Now the, the goal is to try to sneak that card back into the packet face up without you noticing, hence misdirection. And I don't know if you caught that or not, but well, I just did it. See, look, there's one card face up now in the middle, but really, I do nothing, that's just to confuse you. See, if I take one of those cards like this, I pretend to take it into my pocket. I take nothing, but while you're focused on that, that's when I do the move with one hand. And just then I just did it, all right? So look, that's uh, two cards now face up. Now I could go on like this all day, turning cards face up and face down with sleight of hand. But to be honest with you, I'm not that good at sleight of hand because, well, I have to use trick cards. And in fact, I always keep my trick cards in this wallet because look at that. That's a trick card. That's a trick card. That's a trick card. And that's a trick card. And I always keep my trick cards right here inside my wallet. Okay, so here is what you need for this version of this trick. First of all, you will need uh, two regular blank faced cards. And you, and you just write trick card uh, on both of the faces like this. That's just two regular blank face cards with trick card uh, written on them. Next, you'll need a regular card that matches uh, the back of your uh, blank cards, obviously. Now you'll need two blank face, or I'm sorry, blank backed cards, which match the face of this regular card. All right, so on the back of these cards, is just a blank back, which you write a trick card on both of them. Now these sixes, you can find in the standard double-faced uh, deck uh, from Bicycle. Now, in the original Cascade routine by Roy Walton, there was no trick card presentation about it. He just simply had two uh, blank-faced cards, and instead of uh, the blank backs on these, they would just be different backs from a different deck. So the finale, the final kicker would be uh, just two odd cards and two blank cards, but I always found that kind of weird. I mean, I always thought it would be better if all the cards matched at the end. So this is what I came up with, and uh, the setup is this. So you take uh, the three cards that are alike, uh, the, three face, the three faces, and you turn them over, okay? So you turn these over, so the trick cards are uh, staring at you in the face, and then you take the irregular card and put it in between those two, all right? So from top down right now, you have a uh, blank backed card, regular card, blank backed card. Now you take the blank faced cards and you turn them face up and they go in between the regular and the top card. So they go like this in there. So from top down, it will be blank backed card, blank faced card, blank faced card, regular card and your blank backed card. So from the face, you're in sort of this uh, configuration here uh, with two face down cards in umbly count position. How convenient, all right? So you just start out with these in a packet wallet and you can put those in there and you're ready to and ready to go. 
And you can just carry this with you everywhere and you can do this whenever you want to. After some card tricks, you have this ready to go in this little wallet and so it's perfect. All right, so what you do is you take this wallet out or take the wallet, take these cards out of the wallet and you explain that you're going to do with some, I mean, you want to show them some sleight of hand and misdirection with these cards that you have. And see, like I just have four cards that are all alike and you just do a standard Elmsley count, okay? So when you do that, after you do the Elmsley count, or as you're doing it, you want to step forward the last two counted cards, right? The last two counted cards uh, get stepped forward, so they see they see a good fan here of just face-up cards. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're going to take that third card out. And as you do that, you're going to push these two cards in at the same time, all right? Because you don't want to flash that face-down card right there, obviously, all right? All right? So you just, uh, as you push these in with your index finger, you just pull that out like this so you don't flash anything. See, look, here's the move I want to show you. If I turn one card face down, with a little move, I can make it look like all the cards are face down. And all you're, you're going to do here is sort of do like a block pushover like this of all the cards above that bottom card and just like sort of snap it up like this, all right? So you're just snapping that bottom card up to the top like this, and that's the move that you say that you do. Now, which if I do a secret move like this, I can make it look like all the cards are face down, and you, you just repeat that Elmsley count step thing, uh, just like you just did before. Now it's the same thing. You take that third card, as you pull it out, you just push those in. So this time I'll do it face up. If I turn the card face up, and do that same move, I can make it look like, and that's just the same thing you did before, taking that bottom card and sort of snapping it like this. If I take a card and turn it face up, they all look face up, and you just do an Elmsley count again, again repeating that same stepped Elmsley uh, procedure. Now you do it one final time to do it face down, and everything is the same, or right? you're just repeating the same thing three times in a row, okay? So you push those in as you pull that out, and do it face down. If I turn a card face down, boom, they all turn face down. Do the Elmsley count uh, step thing like this. And say, look, now most sleight of hand, as, you, as you're saying, as you say most sleight of hand, do that same move, is done with misdirection. And so what you do here is you uh, act like you're gonna do the old tent vanish, and this gets magicians a lot too. You act like you're gonna do a bad tent bench, but you actually take the card, okay? So uh, you say, look, if I take a card out like this and actually palm it out, okay? So you wanna palm it out for real, but make it seem like you're doing a bad tent vanish, okay? So <laughs> I love this. So you uh, say, look, if I take one card out and put it in my pocket, and you just leave it there in your pocket, but come back out as, as if you're still holding it, right? But you just put it in your pocket for real. If I, pretend, if I take a card out and put it in my pocket, uh, what my goal is, is to sneak it back in the packet and turn it face up in the middle and say, I don't know if you saw that or not, but I, I just did it. And at this point, you're just going to do an Elmsley count to show that indeed there is one card face up in the middle and you don't have to do a step this time, just do a regular Elmsley count. Say, look, this time, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how that works. With misdirection, when you uh, when you take a card out like this and make it seem like you're doing a bad palm, right? Like a bad steal. If I take the card out like this, uh, the, the thing is I'm pretending. I don't actually take a card out at all. I'm pretending. And while you're focused on this, that's when I do the secret move with one hand. And so you come back and you just do a fake thing and I don't know if you caught that or not but I just I did it again with another card and this time you just do a, a, a legitimate count just a real count no side of hand at all so one two three four to show two face up cards now the final kicker is um not you know I've been lying to you this whole time the truth is I'm not very good at sleight of hand, which you kind of saw, right? I don't know if you noticed, I'm kind of bad at sleight of hand. So I actually just use trick cards. And in fact, uh, this is a trick card right here. In fact, it is a trick card. And at this point, you just turn over all the cards to show, look, all the cards are trick cards. And I love this uh, big finale because uh, where could have these come from? You know, it, it just comes out of nowhere. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. It means the world to me that you would sit down and watch what I had to show you, and I really hope that you're enjoying this 14-day challenge so far. Till next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.